Hi, this is Allie from Crafty Crafters. I'm here to share something that I made and show you how I made it. I took this deck of cards, the two cards, and I altered them. And what I did was I made this cute little spring book. So you have, and I went online, I downloaded images and stuff, and this is what the book looks like. So the outside I have like little charms, and I put some ribbons, tied some ribbons onto the little, um, uh, I don't know what these things are called. They're little round binder clip things, I guess. Um, this is what they look like when they're not on the book. Okay, so that's what I have. I have those two things holding it together. So I went online and downloaded a bunch of images. It took me a couple hours. And I printed them out. And then I embellished it with flowers and ribbon and um, just a little bit of bling here and there. Uh, some lace. And I had a punch that did little bunny rabbits. And I did a bunny rabbit there. And I had a punch that did flowers and butterflies. So I went through the all 52 cards every single one is different you know kind of flip through them kind of fast so you can see a little bit of what i did um it was quite a bit of work it took me two weeks to make but i didn't do it continually for two weeks so i did a little bit each day and the one day i just sat for like three hours and just finished all the last little bit of the embellishments so i kind of see right here all the fun stuff i did in it Okay, and all the different images and different sayings I put in there. And I really enjoyed doing this project. I sure did so much. And um, I liked it so much that when I sent it off to my partner, I've actually started making another one. So the one that I started, I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can make one and have fun making one. Um, just remember, it's a lot of work. But it's well worth it. And I know that the one I'm getting back, I know my partner, she put a lot of work in hers. We've shared pictures of ours back and forth in messaging so that we could see what each other's looks like. I used a few stickers, as you can see right here, too. And when I painted it, I um, also did a little bit of inking in it. So you can see some of the inking right here, because that was not a part of the paper that I printed out on. And I put some stickers, just a few on this side, but mostly I decorated this side. I only put just like maybe four stickers, I think, on that side the most. Well, here's some pretty flowers. Some lace and some pearls and some little jewels and stuff. Um, here's another bunny sticker that I found. I just kind of went through my um, pocket letter stuff that I use. And my ATC cards. Here's another cute little sticker I fell in love with. And here's a, um, a felt sticker of a duck. And a cross sticker. So there's some stickers, there's flowers, there's a whole hodgepodge of everything. And that's what I loved about this. Ribbons that I brought around, you can see it in the back too. Um, here's another sticker here. And then this is one of my favorite pages because I love this ribbon. I think that ribbon's beautiful. And then I love this page right here with the pretty purple flower because purple's my favorite. Um, this saying says, fear not... You are a, you are of more value than many um, sparrows. And um, that's a Bible verse. I just love some of these things. That I, some of the things that I came up with has to do with spring and, and Easter and stuff. So I kind of threw a, threw a couple little Easter things in here. Because I had the duck and I mean the, the little uh, baby chicken stuff. Um, this is another one of my favorite things. Tip throw, tiptoe through the tulips. Um... And here's another one. And just different little sayings. This one I just kind of worked on the daisy with the orange stuff in there. And always find, always um, in the day with a positive thought. So just little fun little things here that I came up with. And I think, I think she'll really like it. I really love it. I loved it so much that I definitely will be making one for myself, which you can see the start of it. So I'm kind of going through so you can see all the pages a little bit. It gets hard to turn the pages because they're like, it's really thick. It started out a very thin deck of cards and it ended up being very, very thick. It looks almost like a Rolodex. And that's what's really cool is that in the end product, it's really beautiful, I think. Um, 
fly a kite, you know, jump in puddles and everything. It's talking about spring. So, and that's the end, and it's for Melanie. So, I hope you enjoyed this one, Melanie. Now, I'm going to show everybody how to make it. So, it's very fat, as you can see. A whole deck of cards. So, the first thing you start out with is a deck of cards. I like to go to Dollar Tree and pick out a deck of cards because it's a dollar. And just look at the back of these cards, how pretty they are. And then here's the front. So the next step after I pick up my deck of cards is I get a piece of paper. Now, you will see that this one has paint all over it because I used it. And then I just lay out my cards. All six of them. Next step I do is I pick my paints. I like the chalk paints. So I have a lavender. I have like a ivory. A pretty blue. And I don't, I, you know, I just get whatever's on sale. 40% off. Um, so Walmart has a really good price too, by the way. So I just pick my paint and then I'll open it up and I'll show you what I do. So I just dip my paintbrush. I like the foam brush for this particular project because um, it just does a really good coverage. And I just basically put a little bit of paint on there. And that's it. Okay. Then when that dries, we'll pretend that's dry. I will... And normally I do not mix my paints, just to FYI, is, and is I grab my next paint. And usually I'll put it like on a, a plate or something, so I'll just kind of dip this one in a tiny bit so it doesn't mix paints. As you can see, this a little bit. And then I'll add another color to it. So this is kind of, then I'll go to the other one, and I'll have, um, hold on a second, just had to get rid of that. Someone was calling right now making my video. So, you know, kind of mix the colors. So I have like three or four colors out and I'll do that. So that's the first step. After this particular paint dries, I will then turn it over, pretend it's dry, and I will paint this side, several little colors. You know, and then that's how we end up with a really cute um, look. And let me show you what, let me close up this paint because I will spill it if I don't. set that off to the side so here's a deck of cards that I just painted for my next one so as you can see they've all been painted and you can see the front the front is the side and the back and I went through and did the whole 52 cards just sat and did it one day during uh, my daycare kids nap time so and you can see I used many colors and I layered it very um, mixed media look and that's what I was going for the mixed media look. So once you have done that, or actually, I did skip one small little step. I have this two hole punch right here. Before I painted them, I took the deck, the card, and I punched holes right there and right there in it with this two hole punch. Now, I love this punch because it'll actually do five cards at a time. And it'll keep it, and I, there's an area that you can line up in the in the puncher, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So when I take the punch out of the box, and you want to punch a hole in your card, so if you take the card, and let me lift it up a little higher so you can see, and you stick it right there, and you line it up perfectly right there, you'll always get the punch in the right spot. So you could do as many as you want, and I turn this over, of course, like this. So however many cards you do, they'll always line up no matter what. So watch. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I will stick that right there. Put my hand right there. And I put this one right here. So if you notice, no matter what, if I just put one or whatever, they always line up perfectly with that. Couldn't ask for better, huh? So this punch was the best investment I ever made in my life. The two-hole punch, Office Depot. So I highly recommend it if you're doing a lot of books and things like that, because that will make a difference in your life. So once you've painted your cards, the next step, and you've had all your punch, holes punched, is you will now pick out what you want to put on it. So I went online and I downloaded a whole bunch of images, like you saw in the book. Okay? And I cut them out. Actually, I downloaded like 45 images. Then I found some cute little sayings. 
And now what I did was I took and I cut those sayings out and I added to that, those little sayings, some stickers that I found. Just some little stickers I found in my stash. I found a cute little cross. I found some, remember the little chicky? I have a bunny on this one. And some more bunnies. And then I found some cute little Christian sayings to do with Easter. And then here's another, here's a little chicky I have. Butterfly and another little bunny. So I got all my stickers and all my stuff together. Okay. And then I took and I have little pieces of paper, scrap paper, that I cut up. So I took all my little scraps of papers. Okay. It's little cute little scraps of papers. And then I found flowers. Can't go without flowers. You know, it is spring. So I have my little flowers, as you can see. And it's a whole bag. And I actually have um, where I die cut little tiny flowers. I die cut butterflies are in here. See the little butterfly right there? So there's ton. Though no, there's a bunny. The die cut bunny. So everything I kept everything in this bag because I know that I'll reuse it over and over again. Okay? And then I got my scrap bag of ribbons and laces and all kinds of stuff. Here's some pretty lace. And what I did, how I started out with my card is I grabbed one of my cards. And I made sure that my holes were on the one side. And then I grabbed my glue and I picked out the paper that I wanted to go on that one. And I just kind of set it on there. I go, oh, kind of ripped and teared and did some fun stuff with it. And I'll just start with that one. And I took my glue and I glued it down on the card. That was the very first step. Then I picked whatever image I want to put on there. And I think this one, I like this one right here. And I glued my image on there. So you're layering. That's very important that, to know that you're doing a lot of layering. So I put my paper down first, then my image. Then I chose a flower that I wanted to put on here. And I think I will use this one. And I glued my little flower down. So this card is pretty much done. Now the only other thing I would add to it is some bling. And that will be anything that you choose, basically. Um, I like jewels. I like stickers. Um... Let me get something. Hold on one second. So here's my little bag of jewels that I take when I go places and do things with my daycare kids. So I will then take and look through it. Oh, here's a little flower too in there too. That would be really cute. And I will then take, oh, excuse me, kitty cat. You need to move out of the way. He likes to join me in my little projects. So you don't need a whole lot of jewels just to make it look pretty. Um, I will take this and just stick it right here. And look, now it's just like sparkled and blinged and beautified and it's looking awesome. So that's how I did one of the cards. You could also get your ink and ink around the edges and put a little bit of ink there like I showed you in the other one. So, and it's pretty easy. It's just time consuming. And the time consuming, like I said, would be going and find all these little sayings that I did, like I showed you. That took me a couple hours at least to find these sayings. And then cutting them all out. And then you decide where you're going to put them in your book and how you're going to put them. And then the background papers, of course. That's not too hard. I have a big box of scrapbook papers and that's, I go through that. So, so that's how I made my book. Hope you enjoyed my video on how to make it. It's not too hard. It's just more time consuming. Give me a thumbs up. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.